Today we're actually going to the largest flea market in the entire state of Indiana. Mango. Thank you. Thank you. We got the Bordeaux sevens, size 14. 13 actually, it's actually my size. First Sabrage of Vision. That is a fencing. It's, it's got some mold on it too. It's got some poopage on it too. Ooh. Like poopage. Poopage. Okay, now, now we're going to the second room here. So this room is probably about three quarters the size of the other room. Maybe half three quarters, even more stuff. So, so far, we're one room in. I have find thing yet to purchase. There is one booth back in the first room. We might go back to if we have time and dig through some of the comics. That's only if we have time. That's it. Make sure when you go to these things, you give yourself time. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go or hour before it closes. So this one's also pretty pretty big bear to the right bear to the right see we got some 64 games genesis games here's some ds games i don't want to see anything there and also at this point they close here in like less than an hour this is when you can go around to these tables now and really probably work out some deals with people and always let the vendors know you know what you want to take less home sell me a bunch of stuff oh that's a lot of cheerios <laughs> i bought a pallet of cheerios wow four dollars three for ten that like full price they they look kind of vintage oh it's two boxes Ah, that's pretty fair. Fair price then. Wow. I don't know what I would do if I got an entire pound of Cheerios. I don't know if I'd cry about it or be happy about it. Unsure. Here's more records. Ooh, a random comic. Kiss. Psycho Circus, number two, Image Comics. The back is upside down. I wonder if that is an actual air comic, maybe. I don't know. Oh, there's more comics back. We got a little bit, a couple minutes to waste. Undertaker, Punisher. Do a little quick little glance through all these. Bane of the Demon. No, last time we went to a flea market, we looked through some comics. I actually missed a couple. People commented in the uh, comments that, oh, you should have bought that one. It's like, it's just, it's very hard to know every single comic out there that, you know, like first appearances, key issues. But I do my best. Actually, I actually have this comic already. Cool cover to the knife is like shiny. Punisher Warzone. There's a blade. Wheelie and the Chopper Bunch. I had this comic back when I was a kid. Batman vs. Spawn. Actually, I still have it. Brickyard Crossing. That's a golfing thing, isn't it? Uh-huh. It's like Orville Moody. Tom Shaw, maybe. Tom Wago. Rocky Thompson. Yours is 94. I don't see anybody in there that really jumps out at me. Okay. I don't see anybody. I don't see anything in here. This is the kind of bin where you probably could find some stuff. Starman. See, so always hope that I know I didn't miss something because I didn't know what it was. Generation X. The power company. Nothing jumped out at me. But doesn't mean there wasn't anything there though. It just means that I might have missed something. Hopefully I didn't. Some more comics right here. Dark 
Fantastic Four. Two thirty four. Rocket Raccoon. Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four. Man, I hope those Fantastic Fours weren't anything special. I just kept walking, Randy. You kept walking? And you didn't even say anything. You just let me talk about keep walking. <laughs> you figure it out eventually, baby. Teen Titans, the new 52 number zero. I'm back right now. I'm just looking for any kind of cover that jump out to me. Covers that I know are a key issue of some kind. Vintage lock right there. Under bus. Kiss stuff. Kiss collectibles. $40 with games. Atari 7800. I'm actually going to look up that Atari 7800. So much to actually sell them for on eBay. Maybe we can do a little wheeling dealing. He had like 40 games with it. Okay, Atari 7800 on eBay. Ooh, with two two controllers tested and working, no power for like 70 bucks. Here's a 7800 with 18 games, two controllers, two adapters, tested works, 160 bucks. I think I had 40 games there. What's he asking for? Whoa, 40 bucks. It's probably worth it. Whoa, yeah, see here's, I mean, you're seeing like here's, Sony 800 console with eight games box. Of course, that has the box. So you can't really count that one. Yeah. We'll come back over here. I'm going to go back here and look at it a little bit closer. But I mean, here's this. It's the Sony 800 console with just controller stuff. for was like $103. While you're looking closer, I'm going to run through Here's the untested for 20 bucks. Just console untested. Let's look at this thing a little bit closer. I'm going to go to the restroom real quick while you're doing that. Oh. Whatever it takes to make you feel like you're getting a good deal, I need to... Atari 700 system. Oh, 100. Oh, it's 150 dollars. I just saw 40 games. I thought I said 40 dollars. 150 dollars. So yeah, I'll go ahead and pass on that. There's a Tony Stewart car. Twelve dollars firm. Yeah, I'm on a hunt for a Tony Stewart car. I think I just found one. It's 150. Oh. But then I was looking around. I found that right there. That's the Home Depot number 20 Tony Stewart car. You can sign the windshield, I guess, right? Yeah, that's a nice one. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Rigid. That adds some flavor. Oh, yeah. Is that why you're getting it? I'm gonna gonna get it signed here by a uh, Tony next month. Oh, are you? He's gonna be here for the car show. Oh, is that right? Uh, where, where, where are it's the at? wheels? Where oh, wheels? Be cool. Yeah, he signed for free too. Does so, he? Yeah, are, are you gonna I'm have gonna... him sign the box? Or are you gonna take the car out? And sign the, the windshield of it. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose that's probably the better yeah. way to go. Yeah. That's oh yeah. Cool. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Was well, this box like factory sealed or something? It probably is. Yeah, it is. The box is factory sealed still, but I'm getting it signed. Factory sealed. There's a bunch of comics down there. Okay? Yeah, there is. Digging stuff. Oh. 20 bucks for that whole box. The whole box. box. If you don't want to pay that, I'll take 15. <laughs> <laughs> Is it all the same comic? Archie and Armstrong. Wow, it's like the, it's the same thing over and over and over and over. like all the same ones. Yeah. So since I got one score, I got my Tony Stewart car for 12 bucks. 
that seems like a pretty fair price. I mean, if you bought off eBay for like even 10, 10 bucks plus the shipping charges, you know, I think it's pretty, pretty fair price. And here we come to the very end of the flea market. We burnt this place in like an hour. I think that might be a record actually. So I actually have a little bit of time before this place actually closes down. So it might go back and hit something earlier that you might have seen or something. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't listening. Is there any place here you want to go 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 back to and look at? I don't know. We, any we, booths? we walked so swiftly since actually, you gave us so much here. time to uh, be able to talk to the people yourself and I'm gonna go pee. Oh, well, that was not very exciting. There he goes, to the bathroom. So that is it for the second room. Now going back into the first main bigger room. But a lot of places here are closing up. But one of the cool things that they uh, do here at this flea market or this garage sale is um, on, I think both days, they have a company that comes in and will um, do like a, a not an estimate, but like a um, authentication value kind of thing. Uh, so if you have something that you think might be valuable, you've got a piece of artwork or something that's been handed down or whatever, um, they will um, value it for you. So it's kind of cool that they do that. Mm -hmm. Lots of bandages. Somebody got a pout of health and beauty and they got a whole pout of bandages. Which I mean, band-aids are actually pretty expensive. Yeah. And yeah, this is a lot of health and beauty right here. Got cookies. Is there anything else here they want to look at? Or? I don't think so. It's 3.40, closes in 20 minutes. No, I didn't like, have to look at. Well, nothing that was like. You have to. You want to. Yeah, there's nothing else like a must look at. I don't know if I remember. I guess that's it. I guess that's it. That's it. So we're wrapping it up. This is the largest flea market in probably the whole Midwest, 2020. And completed. I got a NASCAR Tony Stewart diecast car to get signed with Tony Stewart next month. And Didn't I, find anything to flip though. And I got nothing. She got nothing. She got me. But uh, yeah, this place is here like once a year, every January. So we'll be here again next year, once yep. again. So this wraps up this Tales from the Flea Market. Waiting on you. Oh, you're gonna keep me <laughs> waiting a while. You're supposed to jump in, Tales from the Flea Market. January, 2020. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, and we're out. <laughs>